Welcome to the Specialty Pharmacy Podcast. This Specialty Pharmacy Podcast is a collaboration with the National Association of Specialty Pharmacy, the NASP, and the Pharmacy Podcast Network. The mission of the National Association of Specialty Pharmacy is to improve specialty pharmacy practice by promoting continuing professional education and certification of specialty pharmacists while advocating for public policies that ensure patient access to specialty medications. As the healthcare industry's leading podcast dedicated to the pharmacy profession, the Pharmacy Podcast Network is proud to bring our listeners the Specialty Pharmacy Podcast in partnership with the NASP. Hello, this is Chandra Wargren, President of Arden Health, and you are listening to the Specialty Pharmacy Podcast. Hey, welcome to the Specialty Pharmacy Podcast. You know, this is a treat for me. I don't usually get to partake in some of the Specialty Pharmacy Podcasts, but today I am really honored to bring to the show a special guest, Arden Health Pharmacy, Specialty Pharmacy Podcast recording on this day, NASP's Specialty Pharmacy of the Year. Arden Health, welcome to the Specialty Pharmacy Podcast. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. I'd like to introduce Chandra Wargren, as well as Grant Knowles, who are team members of Arden Health Specialty Pharmacy. I'm going to start off by kicking this over to Sheila Arquette, Executive Director of National Association of Specialty Pharmacies, and just to open up what it means and how it was um, a very special opportunity to choose the Specialty Pharmacy of the Year. Sheila, share share with our listeners a little bit about that. Sure. Thank you, Todd. Yes, the Specialty Pharmacy of the Year Award was developed by NASP. Um, We had our first um, award winners um, at the 2016 annual meeting. And so the the award was developed to recognize innovators in the specialty pharmacy field. Those folks that are going above and beyond and really helping to connect with their patients and and take the best possible care of their patients. This year we had nine submissions um, to be considered for um, Specialty Pharmacy of the Year. And I can tell you that all of those who submitted nominations are really doing some very interesting and very innovative and creative things with respect to specialty pharmacy practice. Um, I also had the opportunity this week to visit um, the Arden Specialty Pharmacy and meet the team and just to um, experience firsthand, to be honest, everything that they do uh, to put as I always like to say, the special and specialty pharmacy. And I was just overwhelmingly impressed. It was just um, above and beyond anything that I expected. And I've been in my fair share of specialty pharmacies. So um, I really honestly can't think of um, any pharmacy that was more deserving of this award or this recognition. So congratulations to Chandra and Grant and, and the Arden team. Um, just very, you know, the minute you walk in the door, you feel that there's a, a connection and that there's caring um, at the heart of everything they do. And I think that's so important, especially uh, with specialty pharmacy. Tell us about the history of Art and Health. When was it founded and by whom? And just expand upon the history. We launched Arden in 2014 and celebrated our third anniversary just this past June. Arden Health's uh, genesis really came from a deep desire to be better and to improve lives. After evaluating the specialty pharmacy landscape, it was identified that uh, the level of service and programs really varied greatly, and the Northwest was missing a prominent and regionally-based specialty pharmacy. Uh, So here we are today. Arden is operating out of a state-of-the-art facility in Portland, Oregon. You know, we serve as a hub for patients, prescribers, payers, and advocacy organizations. And, you know, really Arden's locality in the Pacific Northwest is a unique service offering that provides a more intimate connection with patients and prescribers, um, as well as payers, uh, just allowing us to Uh, bring specialty pharmacy a little bit closer to home for some patients and uh, to deliver on our mission, which is really to inspire people and improve lives through the delivery of high quality, compassionate health care. So Chandra, what do you feel sets Arden Health apart from other specialty pharmacies? 
the center of every decision at Arden really is um, the patient. And we understand that patients enjoy a better quality of life when health partners collaborate. We take that uh, responsibility really seriously to be part of that um, effort. While remaining patient-centric, Arden works in tandem with manufacturers, payers, providers, support programs, uh, as well as financial assistance and advocacy groups to offer enhanced and coordinated care. Hey, Grant, are there any areas, disease states or medications, where Arden Health focuses its work services specifically? Good question. Um, there are, you know, while Arden is a traditional specialty pharmacy and we focus on 1% of the prescriptions, um, I feel that we do very well in the categories of multiple sclerosis and oncology. Um, the Pacific Northwest in our region um, has a high prevalence of multiple sclerosis and we're lucky to have access to uh, all of the multiple sclerosis medications where we work with patients. Um, we're intimately involved with the multiple sclerosis arena. Our teams um, are advocates at their walks. Um, we really support not only the condition and the patients that we have, but we support the idea uh, of helping the process. Um, additionally, in the oncology, <clears throat> you know, we were we were lucky to be one of the first, and I think only um, a couple handfuls of especially pharmacies in the nation to receive the ACHC's distinction oncology. Um, you know, that includes requirements of having outside board certified oncologists to validate clinical programs to help patients with oral oncology and other oncology therapies be successful. So tell us about the company culture at Arden Health and, and how is it reinforced? I had the tremendous opportunity of experiencing a little of that myself this week, but I'd like to hear it from you, um, Chandra Grant. What's the company culture like? Thank you, Sheila. We appreciated um, having you here at Arden this last week as well. And, you know, the spirit and innovation and compassion is at the heart of Arden's mission and service promise. With strong leadership and a commitment to our mission and values, you know, we try to ensure that each and every employee feels empowered as well as embraces the privilege that we have to make a difference in the lives of others. Arden's approach uh, to care and human compassion really is to inspire hope. And, you know, it's even with the simple um, logo and as a visible reminder of the impact and influence that Arden has as a sense of a ray of sunshine. And so with every interaction, we try to make a difference. Arden's focused on um, building and enhancing relationships with each and every one of those interactions. You know, my background is institutional pharmacy technology. That's how I entered the space of pharmacy. That's what I fell in love with. I fell in love with processes. I fell in love with workflow and being able to match technology to those things. So when I started really paying attention to specialty pharmacy, I understood that processes, workflow, technology, innovation was actually even more important. And from my perspective, here's the reason. We're dealing with patients that have highly, very serious, needing more attention than ever, disease states and things that they're experiencing, things that are disrupting their lives. And patients don't realize everything that happens in a specialty pharmacy, nor should they even have to worry about it. They need their medicine. They need it on time. They need to rely on the experts of that medication and of that care um, in order to carry them through their recovery and can carry them through their therapies. So when I think of a specialty pharmacy, I think of this high-touch leader in the therapy that's being delivered. So tell us some ways that Arden Health innovates to remain a leader in specialty pharmacy. Well, I'll start and then I'll hand it over to Grant. You know, one of our guiding principles and values at Arden is to be a beacon of the industry. And we very much have embraced the importance of connection and Arden's role in connecting the healthcare ecosystem and communities together to inspire and influence better health outcomes and, and ultimately happiness uh, in 
in each and every patient that we have the privilege to serve. Yeah, to, to add, Todd, uh, thanks for that intro. That was fantastic. You know, that, that aligns with a lot of what we see. We realize that we're helping patients with therapies for rare and very serious conditions. And while that can be frightening and there can be a, a lot of unknowns, one of our goals is to make it as easy as possible for a patient to be successful. Um, we do this, you know, knowing it's not easy. And you spoke to it. There are many services, interactions, and touch points that ultimately lead to the patient achieving great results. And that's why we feel, you know, we have developed a dynamic process that has many possible pathways to success for our patients. So it amends to the patient's needs. And ultimately, that process doesn't happen without the great personnel we have. And so while we do have technology, and this may not be as technology advanced as Google or some other areas, um, we do have processes and we have a commitment to overcome areas where technology may not be able to help us. And I think that's been one of the ways of our innovation is that we continue to see what can be instead of what stays in front of us that, that potentially says what can't be. So I think we've done a good job of navigating those boulders to ensure we can improve the health of all patients we serve. So as the executive director for NASP, I take very seriously my responsibility to make sure that I am addressing the needs of our multi-stakeholder membership base. Um, so what I'd like to do now is to get your perspective on the value of specialty pharmacy for a variety of stakeholders. Are you ready? Oh, great. Why is Arden Health important for patients? Yeah, I'll, I'll take that, Sheila. Good question. You know, I think like a lot of other specialty pharmacies, but, but we feel that we offer an industry-leading expertise in helping patients avoid hurdles. We remove roadblocks that may detour their success on life-altering therapies. Our employees are extremely compassionate and understand some of the challenges of these therapies and conditions. While our team may never fully know the full burden uh, of our patients, we try to be a bright light in their healthcare journey. You know, the, every aspect of pharmacy, every sector of pharmacy is obviously important. And from the patient's perspective, that's their pharmacy, you know, the community pharmacy, the long-term care pharmacy. However, Specialty pharmacy has so many other layers that I had said before people may not realize. One of those layers is the relationship between the pharmacy and the manufacturer. The manufacturer expects a higher level of touch and care and management of that medication, including REMS reporting, for goodness sakes, which is a whole other conversation that we can build a podcast around. But why is art and health important for drug manufacturers? How are you setting yourselves as a differentiator? Well, I think it's, you know, what we talked about in the beginning is that we're, we're actively engaged in partnerships with every member of this healthcare paradigm. Um, we're willing to collaborate and offer a level of commitment and focused expertise that creates a sophistication that ultimately leads to the patient's success. And so, you know, when we said earlier that we truly believe that when all members of the healthcare facets work together, the patient achieves better results. That's the mentality we take is, is that it's a collaborative approach that while we may have a focus expertise, and I definitely believe that our focus on 1% of the prescriptions makes us an expertise and ultimately elevates care. We are not expertise in every experts in every aspect of healthcare. So by actively working with manufacturers, collaborating with providers, we create an environment that continually evaluates our clinical operations and outcome successes and then ensures that we can have improvements where there can be. As there's been so much focus since the beginning of the year on drug pricing and transparency, um, and there's so much activity right now in D.C. with respect to the tax reform bill. Why is Arden Health important for the government and also taxpayers? You know, that's a good question, and I think there's a lot of different ways to, to handle that. But I think we continue to, to main focus on maximizing the results of very expensive therapies, which helps mitigate wasted opportunities for patients and potentially wasted spend for government and taxpayers. 
So there are so many challenges when you're running an organization. And like I said, I've been in, I've been in hundreds of pharmacies, community, mixed pharmacies that are doing multiple uh, settings for what a patient needs. Um, and I'm thinking from a specialty pharmacy's perspective, I think you guys have a, a little bit more to worry about sometimes than, than other sectors of pharmacy in different ways. And what I, what I think about as a, as a, leader in podcasting and controlling a network and wanting to drive value is challenges. So what do you consider the biggest challenges and opportunities facing Arden Health in 2018? And why is that? Yeah, yeah. I think there's, um, I can speak to two, you know, internally, I think one of the biggest challenges is to ensure that we don't remain content with the results that we're providing today. Um, You know, what may have got us here may not be as effective in the future. And so we maintain and we're going to continue to reinforce our commitment to evaluating our processes and helping patients have the ultimate success. So internally it's, you know, it is an internal struggle and we're extremely committed, um, you know, having URAC accreditation and specialty pharmacy, ACHC accreditation, especially pharmacy, and then this distinction in oncology, um, maintaining those, but also thinking outside of, the realms and innovating with providers and other expertise such as manufacturers in the arena. So, so challenging ourselves to continue to improve will be one of the, you know, greatest challenges internally. Um, but externally, I think, you know, NAS does a good job of voicing it, but um, across the paradigm, especially pharmacy, you know, reimbursement challenges undercut the operational reality of specialty pharmacies. And so there are many current, especially or many current pricing methodologies, such as DIRPs, national average drug acquisition cost pricing, actual or average acquisition cost pricing, that do not incorporate the level of high-touch coordinated care especially pharmacies provide. And so I think, you know, one of those will be some of the challenges that we see continue in 2018. And I would just add, you know, to what Grant had mentioned about, you know, this focus and the market demands are really revealing the key stakeholders are requiring more focus on patient-centered care and patient management. And understanding, you know, the, the balance between uh, supporting not just the pharmacy benefit, but the medical benefit and um, all aspects of where um, the patient need is is. Um, is is going to be um, falling in the future. And as a full service delivery and distribution specialist, you know, Arden does offer value and added service that allows tailored approaches um, to promote appropriate use, access, education, therapy management, as well as adherence programs. But we're not naive to um, a to the fact and, and we do appreciate that coordinating care and supporting each and every patient, it's complicated, and it's really important for us to help simplify that process so that we're not adding unnecessary redundancies in the healthcare um, ecosystem that exists today, and that we're truly being a conduit and a resource um, to, to support, um, in, you know, the patient experience and ultimately improved outcomes. So Grant, you touched on and you spoke about NASP, and so I'd like to talk a little bit about our partnership, and um, I would like for you to explain to our listeners when and why you became involved with NASP and where you see uh, the greatest potential or the opportunity to make a difference or to make an impact. Good question, Sheila. I'm going to, I'll I'll drop in on uh, my personal uh, connection with NASP, and then Chandra will be able to talk about our organizational connection. Um, I have been involved in the National Association of Specialty Pharmacy since inception, um, first starting with committee work with the Professional Advisory Committee, um, and then working on questions for the um, Certified Specialty Pharmacy, or Pharmacist Exam, um, which have grown into the Clinical Outcomes Committee. Um, I'm currently um, a member of the Clinical Outcomes Committee, which is a great opportunity for especially pharmacies and pharmacists to define and highlight our value. And so it's a very passionate area for me. Um, I think that, you know, especially pharmacy with the expertise and the high touch that we provide, um, you know, 
we have an opportunity here as an organization, um, as an industry to further highlight that value. And so I think it's a great area um, for participation in our industry. Grant talked a little bit about his uh, personal involvement, but in terms of Arden as an organization, really from our you know, inception and launch in 2014, we embraced uh, our role in the industry, our responsibility, and we recognize NAS as a leader in education and advocacy. And as one of our, you know, guiding principles to boldly lead the pharmacy industry to a higher standard, you know, as a company as well as our leadership, we just feel it's um, critically important to be actively involved and to appreciate that NASP offers a focused voice for specialty pharmacies. And, you know, we've learned a lot. Sheila, when you were on site this week, I shared with our broader team how fortunate we were um, as a young organization to be able to be part of such a a wonderful uh, organization, but it was also the welcome um, that we received and um, being able to at any given time pick up the phone and call and ask questions and um, seek information and know that, you know, we've been supported all along the way. So it's been a wonderful partnership. It's one that uh, means a lot to us and it's one, you know, we really look forward to continuing to uh, evolve and um, participate in terms of, you know, our industry as a, as a specialty pharmacy. Chandra and Grant, I have worked with a lot, if not all, the pharmacy associations, the national pharmacy associations, as well as the state pharmacy associations. So I understand how um, some of them are perceived and how large some of them have gotten. Isn't it interesting that specialty pharmacies are the most intimate pharmacies with their patients based on the demand for a very specific therapy and very specific touch, high touch, constant communications. And isn't it interesting that you're getting that same feeling from the NASP? Because I've picked that up. There is an intimacy between the members and the association and the board members and the association and the governing and Sheila and her team And that's a warmth that I think is a needed difference in many of those. And and not to say I'm I'm not being negative about these associations. I just think that some of them have gotten so big that we're losing that touch. And that's what specialty pharmacy is all about is the touch between the pharmacy and the patient. So, and I think that's what differentiates specialty pharmacy from other facets of pharmacy, which I think is going to help evolve the pharmacist as a provider and as, a, as thought of as an actual healthcare provider. And I think in closing, my last question for the team is how do you think specialty pharmacy profession will evolve in the next two to five to 10 years? You know, I'll start um, with this one, but you know, in today's rapidly changing healthcare system, you know, like all things, specialty pharmacy is going um, to continue to evolve. And really, I would anticipate at a pace um, much faster than, you know, maybe we're all comfortable with. And, you know, we certainly believe it's important that we're constantly embracing new ways to improve service and the care that we're providing to our patients. Specialty pharmacy as a profession, you know, will need to needs to really further define um, the value and um, really warrants updates to, you know, our current payment methodologies, how we're being reimbursed for the value that's being provided. You know, part of it really, and, and we talked a little bit about it earlier in the podcast, is that, you know, still specialty pharmacy is still misunderstood or um not well understood, at least in many um, facets of healthcare. And, you know, that's one of the things that we've really worked hard on at Arden. While we launched our company very quietly, uh, we really focused on, you know, building a foundation that would allow us to um, become a voice and to be part of our, you know, local and regional and and national um, healthcare environment in a way that um, allows us to differentiate a specialty pharmacy and to help educate about the importance of the role that we play in an individual's um, healthcare team. 
And, you know, Arden is well positioned to adapt, um, but we're constantly externalizing and bringing attention to the many, many different ways that we bring value. And I think that is something that is going to continue to be important for specialty pharmacy as we evolve is for us to continue to partner and to look for ways that we can align so that we're not adding unnecessary layers to healthcare, but we're truly bringing value and that that value is being appreciated and understood. Uh, specialty pharmacy care is truly unique to a patient and no journey is ever the same. And so balancing the patient experience and um, outcomes in a meaningful way is really going to be core to all of our success in the future. And so, you know, I think as we continue on our own um, path um, as an industry, you know, it's how we work together. And it's respecting the fact that we have a shared responsibility in ensuring the affordability and access uh, to specialty medications uh, because, you know, they're coming into patients' lives at a time that they need it the most. And, you know, that's, that's an opportunity as well as a responsibility for all of us. To uh, echo on what Chandra said, you know, I think we, we can, can all agree is that, you know, especially a pharmacy um, truly provides a wonderful service. But, you know, I, I do believe, you know, with NASP um, and the other participants in Clinical Outcomes Committee, you know, we are moving to a direction to further define that value and show value. And so... As, as a pharmacy, as a provider and expertise in rare conditions and life-altering therapies, um, you know, I think the time is past where we can just say, we feel that we're high touch. We feel that we're making a difference. And over the next couple of years, at least, we're going to have to show the value that warrants um, our expertise, that warrants, you know, whether it's direction of specific therapies or updates in current payment methodologies, we as an industry, especially pharmacies, um, will have to define what that value is and then show that value. And I think um, that's something that we should look forward to and and not shy away from. Um, We already say, and I truly believe, that our focus on that 1% creates better care for the patients who utilize our services. And so defining what that looks like will be important to show our existence and need. Well, thank you so much, Chandra and Grant, for joining us today and for giving us um, some perspective on what makes Arden Specialty Pharmacy so special. Um, Again, I can tell the listeners that when you walk in the front door of Arden, you do feel like the sunshine follows you in. And it really was an atmosphere of warmth and caring. And I know that their patients, I'm sure, appreciate that as well. Thank you so much to the Specialty Pharmacy Podcast listeners. For those of you who are interested in learning more about NASP and how you can get involved, please visit our website at www.naspnet.org. And thank you for listening to the Specialty Pharmacy Podcast. Thanks for listening to the Specialty Pharmacy Podcast. Be sure to share this podcast with your fellow pharmacists, doctors, and healthcare providers dedicated to optimal patient care. If you have ideas for future episode topics, please email the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Send your message to publisher at pharmacypodcast.com.